But Your Excellency, these people, as they have said, have embraced the handshake. And you're going to see it as you meet the larger population outside, even today. They want us to work together to create a new Kenya that we all desire, where there's no discrimination, where people are all equal, and that your name does not become a curse or a blessing, that your name is just your name, but it must be something else other than just your name. That's important. But, Your Excellency, when we, now that you have these leaders here, there's only one point that I wanted to make, which is important. The conversation that we need to have here is about land use. As you are coming on a chopper, you'll have seen clearly as you leave Chepalungu and you come into Kisi land. You, you know very quickly that you're already in Kisi. Or if you travel this side towards uh, 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 Transmara, you see a straight line in terms of population this side and the other side. This is because Kisi, you know, it most, of it, most of it is highland and it's very fertile land. There's a lot of rainfalls here. But as the land is fertile, the people are also very fertile. <laughs> So, and they work very hard at night. <laughs> Evidence is there for everybody to see. <laughs> yes. So we have, over the years now, transformed this beautiful land into a rural slum. There's hardly any more pl pl place for people to farm. They tell you that land is agricultural, but there's no land to farm. Half an acre quarter of an acre, people are killing each other over a quarter of an acre. If you have to say that if your chicken wanders from your home to the next home, it will become food immediately. <laughs> so we need, and we can actually borrow from international best practices. In Europe, when the Industrial Revolution came, they had to change how people are living. And they introduced, actually, forceful land consolidation to get people into settlements so that you could free the land for large-scale agricultural production. And another example is that was what happened in South Korea under General Park Chung-hee. And it started in 1971. If you go there, they'll tell you about what they call Sumuldong philosophy which was introduced by Park Chung Hee. And they'll show you, this was the rural Korea you see there the, 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 on the wall in 1971. This is how it looked like. Now this is how it looked like today. They have moved people into settlements which are modern. They're able to, to provide for them water, the sanitation. Then they have roads. They have modern houses, they have schools, they have health centers, and so on. This is what we need to begin to, con to talk about. This is what these leaders need to begin to talk about. How do you want to transform rural Kisi so that we can be able to move our people from poverty to prosperity? That, in my view, is the road to Canaan here in Kisi. And I told people here, they know that we are going to Canaan. And that the road to Canaan is real and that we're still on. And that we only decided with my brother that we begin to build the bridges to cross River Jordan to enter Canaan.